It's no secret the pandemic has forced a lot of people to change the way they operate each day, but it's not just impacting businesses. Nonprofits are having to get creative as they continue to make adjustments. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel shows us how these groups are reimagining the giving season. A warehouse full of toys and supplies. These are last year's holiday gifts wrapped into pillowcases for kids ages zero to six in foster care. Kids go into foster care from no fault of their own. And so we just want to make these holidays and however they celebrate as best as they can be. Allie Roth is the founder of nonprofit With Love. They help foster families in all sorts of ways year round. COVID, distance learning, wildfires has just created a really tricky situation. It's a really challenging thing as a nonprofit, especially one like us that's so small, to go from having serving more kids than we've ever served before and yet having a challenging way of raising that money. Last holiday season, more than 60 companies helped give with donation opportunities in person. But this year, a lot is online with an Amazon wish list. There are some local in-store options. As we look forward, we're really positive about it, but we definitely know that we do not have as much stuff as we had last year, simply due to the social distancing that's occurring. Transition Projects, which helps people who are homeless in Portland, has been using online shopping for years for donations. But this year, volunteering looks different with things like meal drop-offs and people are getting creative. People are doing sock drives in their neighborhoods or they'll do a virtual drive where, where they will tell folks to drop off the items at our main uh, offices. They say even with the uncertainty of the pandemic, they're still seeing a lot of generosity. And they make a decision, hey, I'm going to do this this thing that I know is seems small, but it's important to me. And when lots of people do that, it truly makes a difference. Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.